So something I see quite a lot in the office is issues with the neck. This can be starting with very minor things where people are just noticing the textures changing. It can be those necklace lines or technic lines, which come from obviously looking down at our phones. It can also just be from aging and we start getting more laxity. The skin in the neck is so thin, so it tends to show things very quickly. Before you do anything, the most important thing to do is make sure you put your sunscreen on your neck. When you apply it to your face, put it down in your neck, your chest, even the backs of your hands. I would do that every single day because you're gonna minimize a lot of the damage that occurs when you're protecting it from the sun rays. Second thing topically would be a retinol. Retinol is so key for preventing future lines and really keeping skin healthy and youthful looking. So those two pieces will give you a great head start. If you already have some issues that you're wanting to sort of address, we'll start with something minor. So if you're getting those tech neck lines or you're getting sort of a crepier texture, you can start with just a tox. So that could be a Botox, Dysport, Juveau, ZM, and Daxify. You're just gonna do a sprinkling essentially right under the skin of the neck and it looks it looks funny right afterwards because you'll have little dots everywhere but once it absorbs in it basically tightens that skin so it's great for very minor um, texture improvement again also will help with those lines if you have tech neck lines or necklace lines now if you're finding that you have more significant issues going on um, you can address it in kind of different ways if you have laxity which is where you're noticing the skin is actually loose I would suggest starting with threads threads are a great option for getting that skin lifted again it's gonna promote collagen because it almost forms like a scaffolding for your collagen to be produced on top of. When you follow that up about a month later with an RF microneedling, you're gonna get that sort of extra oomph of collagen production. So that's gonna really help thicken that skin, tighten it, rejuvenate it, make it look more youthful. You can also apply topically with the RF microneedling exosomes and exosomes are growth factors. So they're gonna give you that extra boost as well for rejuvenating the tissue. If you feel like it's not laxity so much as just a crepey texture, you could do a biostimulating filler like um, a hyperdilute radius or a Sculptra. Those are gonna help promote collagen. And the way that I like to describe Sculptra is almost like a fertilizer. You're kind of throwing down on the skin its little particles and your body is going to produce that collagen around that as well. We have a lot of options. If you want to find out more or come in for a consult, let us know and we can fill you in on other options.